Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to show you something really interesting that I just played around with in Claude AI. I created a simulation for reinforcement learning and I just came up with the idea to have a worm essentially uh, chase a circle and get incrementally better every time. And uh, so I did that and guess what? Look what it looks like. Here you go. So the blue thing is the warm and the, the green thing is the, the bait basically. And you can see it already came up to 337, 38 times it caught the ball. And uh, after a reiteration, reiteration initially, I could only have it in real time. Then I asked Claude to increase the speed of the simulation so I can go uh, five times, which makes the training faster. 10 times makes it all even more faster and then 50 times to really speed it up. In the beginning, it almost never got the ball. It really took a long time. And now you can see the numbers are just going like crazy. Uh, let, let's have it train a little bit more. I just think it's super interesting to see the capability of what you can do just with a prompt, just to have fun with it and maybe even draw your conclusion if you run an experiment in the browser. I mean, how crazy is that, right? So... Here's the description a little bit of it. You can read that, pause it and read it if you like. Uh, and then I added the, the speed ramp also. Now let's see how this looks now when we look at that. Look how fast it's going after. Now it's actively chasing the green ball. In the beginning, it was literally just darting left and right without much intention. Uh, and I thought it was a problem at first because I didn't know if it had some sort of memory built in because it would only just capture the location, I believe, at where it fought, found the ball. But now it can actually perceive it somehow. And you can see it actively tracks to it. So let's speed it up a little bit more, see what's going to come out of that. I, I think this is another like mind-blowing thing because it builds some sort of memory in the back end, right? You would think. And I'm... Yeah, this is super interesting. What other experiments? Let me know in the comments below what other experiments I should be running in this. And let's see how far we can push this, uh, the, this uh, reinforcement learning in the chat GPT browser. Okay, let's see. So by the way, when I click on one, it's just like frozen. So two is the regular speed. Now you can see again, it's just aiming straight at it. It knows exactly where it is. Also, I feel like the perception of uh, the distance of the perception increases so it can perceive the ball from much further away which is really interesting and you can see how fast the number the number rises here <clears throat> you can also tell by the path that it's more like a line so you know it, it immediately follows the let's speed it up like this yeah it's it's going really fast now okay let's see this is very determined okay let me see if I can speed it up. I'm I'm just gonna record it in the back end. <clears throat> uh, let's just record it in the back end. So yeah, the, the idea for this came actually from a YouTube channel that I just saw. He had like a fancy 3D animated snake with seven um, joints, so to say. And he simulated a thousand years uh, of that snake being trapped in a room trying to do something similar. And I just wanted to see if you could actually reproduce it in the browser for yourself and see how it's going. And it's kind of interesting. It's, it didn't end up being a snake. I don't know what that blue dot is supposed to be. It's not a snake. Uh, it's just like, I don't know. Uh, uh, what you attacker and, or, or predator and prey, let's call it, okay? This is a predator and it's prey. So we're almost like at 5,000 episodes already of successful training. Uh, I'm going to let it run here a little bit longer and I'll cut to the um, result when it's at 10,000. Let's see what it's, what it's going to look like. So, All right, we're almost at 10,000 here. Let's check it out. I mean, the results, <clears throat> it's not going to get much better, I guess, because uh, it is kind of limited. Let's see. Let's slow it down to real time you do see that there's a more of a perception the closer it gets the faster it makes the turn so that's very interesting i like that a lot um i wonder if i 
you know what? Um, I'm actually going to publish this one. Uh, publish this one and I will put the link in the description of this video so you can play around with it yourself. You can run it yourself. And in the meantime, let me just restart it and show you how it looked like from the beginning, okay? Just so you get a reference. So look at the trained model now. It's at over 10,000 episodes. It's pretty, pretty good in terms of finding its prey. And now let's refresh the simulation. And there's zero episodes, right? So let's see how it behaves. Oh, oh, well, I have to press play, I guess. Okay. So there you go. It's just randomly. It doesn't even perceive the prey as prey. And as soon as it hits the prey by accident, it will know, oh, there's a reward. So it's really a game of chance. And you can look at here at the episode number. Let's, let's speed it up. Let's give me like, oh, it hit it twice. Okay, four times, five times. Now you see it picks up a little bit, right? So it's kind of like, oh, you know, there's something, there's something, I feel something, but it's not really accurate. So that's that, you know what, while we're at this, let's see what else could we do. Um, can we do, um, give the uh, predator two eyes and, or no. Uh, what should we say? Um, eyes. Let's just give it two eyes. Let's see what's going to happen. I was thinking whether two eyes or maybe have it like speed up when it sees the prey so it can kind of dart towards it. Uh, and we'll see. So let's see what it does with. Let's run it again. Oh man, Claude's response was limited. Okay, shorten the code, remove the arms and get, uh, actually, let's just go back and see if we can uh, give it two eyes. Okay, there you go. I will just remove, okay, there you go. We don't need the arms. Let's go back and have Let's see if it's going to work. Um, I'm just going to use the last prompt and re-enter it before the prompt where I asked it to have arms because I think they're kind of useless right now. Let's see if that's going to work. So it's doing it, but I hope the context window is not too small because I feel like we're pushing it towards the edge. Uh, I couldn't finish writing all the code, I believe, in the last one. So let's see. Okay. All right, so that's interesting. Let's see, we're only down to five, five X speed, which is at least something. Oh, look at that. It actually, okay. Well, much faster, obvious. So, okay, actually that's interesting because now, so we have, like I said, we have, let me zoom in here a little bit. Um, we have the eyes tracking the green ball and at the same time, if you look at the red line that emanates out of the blue ball, it kind of predicts where it thinks the green ball is going. And at the same time, the green ball accelerates in speed as the blue ball comes closer, which is exactly what we wanted, right? And you can see the catches here, they're at 38 now. Obviously with these tools, the blue ball needs a little bit less training because it has more tools, right? Uh, but that's interesting. I wonder if we speed it up, how much more efficient it's going to get. It seems like the green ball is at a, it's a, at a very big disadvantage, essentially, because <laughs> it has no weapons to protect itself. So I have to think of how to make it a little bit more fair. But um, <laughs> I think that's kind of cool. Let's see. Okay, we're at one speed here. That's interesting. I'm actually going to, uh, let's pause it in a moment because I want to create a screenshot for the video. <laughs> uh. Come on out. The green ball is hiding for sure. You almost never see the green ball in the middle. Ah, oh, there you go. 
Okay, this is a good one. I'll uh, I'll take that. <laughs> anyway, guys, I will actually use uh I'm not sure if I should publish this one too. You guys can play around with uh you can remix the code that I published earlier. You saw what I did with it. And let me know what you think and what you make out of that. But I think it's super fun and super exciting. I'm actually going to talk to my kids and uh, try to figure out a game that we can create like this. Very cool. Hope you enjoyed that. I hope this was a little bit uh, valuable. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one.